Hey guys, my name is Pixie and this is part one of the Math Whiz Quiz. We'll be working on just the design portion in this video. So let's get started with the design for this app. Design screen one however you'd like. You can see that I've added some information to the about screen property. I've changed the action bar color. I'm setting alignments to center top. I'm also using the standard background that I use for most of these tutorials. I set sizing to responsive, which is optional, and I changed the status bar color and the title. You can design the screen however you'd like. Place an image component on the screen and name it P0. If you've been watching my tutorials, you can probably guess that this will be a padding image. I'm going to give this a height of 20 pixels and use the standard invisible.png image that we we'll use for all of our padding images. Next, we'll need a horizontal arrangement below P0, and we'll call it container top. Keep the horizontal alignment at left, but change the vertical alignment to center. You can keep the height at automatic, but change the width to 85%. Place four labels inside of container top. It might be difficult to see the fourth label on the screen, but it should appear in the components window. Click on label one and rename it to label score. You can style these labels however you want. I'm gonna set the font size for all four labels to 24, the text for this label should say score with a colon, and I'll also add a space after the colon so there's some room between label one and label two. And I'll say dark gray as the color for this label. Click on label two and rename it to integer score. Again, style this label however you want. I'll make this label bold, font size is 24, text is set to the number zero, and pick a color that stands out. Then set the width to fill parent. Click on label three and rename it to integer question. I'm gonna make this bold, size is 24, text should say zero, and then pick a color that stands out. Next, click on label four and rename it to label question. Font size will be set to 24. The text actually doesn't matter for this label. It's gonna change in the blocks editor. So just put some placeholder text and I'll set the text color to dark gray. So basically this label will say the word score and int score will contain the actual value of score. These two labels look weird right now, but basically int question will display the current question the user is on, and label question will display the total number of questions in the quiz. For example, one out of 10, or two out of 10, or 10 out of 10. Just make sure that the text on the integer labels are set to the number zero. Other than that, you can make these labels look however you want. All right, we're done with that container. Now we need to add a vertical arrangement to the screen. This one will be pretty simple. Set the alignments to center center. Height should be set to fill parent and width will be set to 85%. And let's call this container game over. Add a label to this container and style it however you'd like. I'm gonna make it bold, font size is 100. The text for this label doesn't matter, it will change in the blocks editor. So go ahead and add some placeholder text and pick whatever color you think looks nice. We'll name this label grade. When the user completes the quiz, their letter grade will appear in this label based on their score. So if the user gets 90 points, they get an A. If they receive 80 points, they get a B and so on. Now we need to add a vertical arrangement below the game over container. Rename this component to container question. Set the horizontal alignment to center, but keep the vertical alignment at top. Height will be set to fill parent and width should be set to 85%. Click on container game over and uncheck the visible property so that it disappears from the screen. We want the game over container to be invisible when the app starts. Inside of container question, add an image, a label, another image, and a table arrangement. Click on image one and rename it to P1. We'll use this component for some padding on the screen. Set the height to fill parent and change the picture to invisible.png. Click on label one and rename it to label math. You can style this however you'd like. I'm gonna change the font size to 56, keep the height at automatic, but set the width to fill parent. The text will change in the blocks editor, so set the text to whatever you want as a placeholder. Change the text alignment to center and select whatever text color you want. Click on image two and rename it to P2. This padding image will be identical to P1. Set the height to fill parent and change the picture to invisible.png. These padding images help vertically center our text. We don't need to make any changes to the table arrangement. We can use the default two columns, two rows, and width and height should be automatic. 
Place four buttons inside each cell within the table arrangement. You can keep the default name for this table arrangement and the four buttons, or you can rename them if you want to. I'm actually going to keep the default names. Style the buttons however you'd like, but keep a uniform style for all four buttons. For example, all four of my buttons will have font size 18, the height is going to be 65 pixels, the width will be 40%. I'll keep the default shape. The text doesn't matter, it will be changed in the blocks editor, so add whatever placeholder text you want and select whatever text color you want. I'm going to set the text color to white because the default shape style is a dark gray background. So pause this video and play around with your buttons however you'd like. Play around with the labels, play around with the design. I'm going to add the exact same style to all four of my buttons. And when you're finished playing around with your design, you can unpause this video. If you're ready to continue, place an image component below container question. This will be our final padding image. Set the height to 20 pixels and change the picture to invisible.png. Notice that we now have padding around all four edges of the screen. Alternatively, you could delete P0 and P3 and set the screen's padding property. This would also create an even padding around all four edges of the screen. Now, I plan on adding an add mob banner to the AIA file, so I've chosen not to use the screen's padding property. The last component we need on the design is a clock. Uncheck timer always fires and uncheck timer enabled, but keep the default of 1000 for the timer interval. You can rename the clock if you want to, but it's not necessary in this case. That's all we need to do for part one. In part two, you'll learn how to randomly generate a math question and also randomly generate your answers so that the quiz can be different every time. Don't forget to visit the Appy Builder community where you'll find more tips and tutorials created by community members. That's all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and have a great day. Bye.